Hello everyone, yes, you lovable baby yams and squidlets, today we're going to be talking about the most expensive motorcycles that you can buy brand new in 2020. Wait, where did 2019 go? Well, we're still in 2019, but the 2020 models are already hitting the showroom floors. I saw a majority of these bikes in person at EICMA in Milan. Jealous? It's quite the experience, but if you're not suited up and taking every bike for a test ride, it's kind of a bummer to just look at them. That would be absolute insanity and the liability insurance would be in the trillions, especially if I'm on the ticket. Don't worry, Papa Yam took a lot of notes and knows where motorcycling is headed next year. A quick note, the bikes here are mass produced and not really the one-off super custom or really limited production runs. Some may be pre-order only, but they're not so far out of reach as priced in the hundreds of thousands of dollars or something like that. If winning the lottery is something you plan on doing in 2020, check out the following seven bikes as your potential steeds. Here they are in no particular order. Number seven, the Kawasaki Ninja H2R. Back for another year of production is the Big Bad Ninja H2R. Not to be confused with any other Ninja, the H2R is the fastest production bike in the world. With a top speed of 249 miles per hour, this bike is either worth every penny or going to kill you. It is the bike to have, but sadly is for track use only. Don't fret, people have been converting them for street use out of total insanity, so if you're down to try and squid it on the street, that's on you. With a nice round price tag of 55 Gs, this is not for the faint of heart. A 15,000 motorcycle is a big enough commitment for most riders, especially as a new bike. The Ninja H2R is for those who seriously want to play. The top speed isn't the only thing the bike accelerates corners and handles like nothing else, but it is a bit of a pig though. It comes with electronics to boot, has a whopping 305 horsepower, 310 PS, but this is America. This is the epitome of a crotch rocket. Don't be surprised when you see the H2 engine in a lot more bikes and configurations. It's slowly becoming the LS engine of the motorcycling world, especially as they slapped it into the new naked version of the H2, which is crazy. Up next is the Ducati Panigale V4S. The Panigale V4S is the attainable version of the Panigale, the $20,000 range of new motorcycles and the MSRP of $28,395. The S takes the Panigale V4 and adds all Olin suspension and steering dampers, the linear torque curves in first through third gear, a quick shifter, and traction control. The S gets treated to many of the refinements of the R but is distinguished with its painted steel tanks and plastic winglets. A Ducati is never the wrong choice when it comes to sport bikes since Ducati has been upgrading and revamping previous models more aggressively than Japan's Big Four and other manufacturers, although we'll see another one in this list that's going to definitely pique your interest. It's the pioneering direction of superbikes. Don't forget to buy the Biscotti after you buy the bike either. So, these bikes seem to be out of your price range, eh? Well, you're in luck here at Yami Noob, we give away motorcycles. Yep, you heard that right. We give away bikes for the hell of it. We'll be giving away a Suzuki DRZ400, a Honda CB650R, and a Kawasaki Ninja 400. All bikes are brand new 2019 models. And we are now live and accepting entries. Head over to yamminoob.co. Yes, that's .co because the .com was taken and someone is squatting on it. And sign up to win. We're now open and accepting all entries. The DRZ is an excellent beginner dual sport. Whether you live in the city, the country, or the suburbs, this bike is capable of taking you anywhere you wanna go. The CB650R is a middleweight naked with all the four cylinder fun you can want. And the Ninja 400, it's a bike that every sport bike enthusiast and riders dream of. I don't care if you daily your leader bike, the 400 is an absolute blast on any road or track. And if the 400 bores you, well, then you're probably riding it wrong. So hit the link, go to yamminoob.co, or you can visit our merch site at yamminoobmerch.com and every dollar you spend is an entry to win. Either way, get entered to win these bikes. Next up on our list is the venerable and godlike sounds of the Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory. From Aprilia in Italy comes the 1100cc monster of a bike, the RSV4 1100 factory. Although the price for the 2020 model year is unknown and it's not available for sale yet, we can assume a ballpark figure for about 25 Gs. New for 2020 is an electronic suspension which follows suit with other super sport bikes. The power output is believed to be the same at 217, which makes it a formidable opponent against leader bikes. The bike comes with an Akrapovich muffler which perfects the note emitted by the Monster V4 engine. 
Does this remind you of a Ducati? Both Italian companies, Aprilia and Ducati, are neck and neck when it comes to building a motorcycle, much like the Japanese manufacturers across the pond or across the continent, depending on which way you're going. These two companies rival and compete against each other for both street and track supremacy. When full details on the 2020 RSV bike is released, you know me, I'll have a follow-up video for you guys to watch. Maybe I should make a New Year's resolution to ride an RSV 4100 next year. Too soon? There's only 50 days left in this year, that's crazy. Next up is the Yamaha R1M. Another bike coming across the pond from the big four is the Yamaha R1M. Not just your regular R1, no, this thing is extra special. The R1M comes with an Olin's electronic suspension, carbon fiber everywhere, it's a track ready bike, and of course, pre-order only. It's still got the same 998cc cross plane, now pumping out 200 horsepower and 83 foot-pounds of torque. The M comes only in the carbon fiber and blue, which honestly gets Papa Yams excited. It's sleek, sexy, and it's a crossed plane crankshaft. The MSRP on this bike from the keyboard company is $26,099. That's not including all kinds of weird fees and stuff the dealership might tag on either. The biggest complaints after dropping that dough will probably be the gas mileage of 55 miles per gallon or the 4.5 gallon fuel tank. In all honesty, if you're riding around the streets on a track purpose bike, it's gonna be worth the extra hassle to fill up gas more often than if you were on a different kind of bike. Of all the expensive new motorcycles out there, none of the discreetly stand out as much as the R1M and all of its carbon fiber beauty. It's also slightly facelifted for 2020 and it looks pretty sweet. Number three, the Harley-Davidson CVO Limited. Up next is the Harley-Davidson CVO Limited. Now, I put this bike on the list for perspective and also reference. Yeah, you can have an $18,000 Gixxer or $40,000 Ducati, but can you afford a $44,000 Harley-Davidson? The CVO Limited is designed and purposed for the long, really long, heck, going across America kind of trips. It's the dual lazy boy on the streets. I'm not knocking this bike either or its rider. Anyone with $44,000 and a spouse that says, yes, let's ride together. Probably has a better life than the kid scraping up to buy a used 2001 R6 so he can squid at 140 miles per hour. Built for touring, this is the epitome of American touring bikes. The bike comes standard with Harley-Davidson's Reflex Defensive Rider System, which helps the rider control the bike at higher speeds while braking and while cornering. It even has hill hold or hill start assist tire pressure monitoring and even downshift torque assist, which reduces slippage during sudden downshifts into higher RPMs. This bike has a 1917cc engine, 27.7 inch seat height, hey, it's pretty good for beginners. Six gallon fuel tank and 125 foot pounds of torque. The wet weight on this bike is 944 pounds. Not for the beginner. Number two, it's the Honda CBR 1000 RR RSP. If the name of this bike isn't a mouthful, I don't know what is. I'm glad this bike is called the Fireblade because that's a lot easier to pronounce than its other name. This bike is the long-awaited contender for leader bike supremacy amongst not only the big four, but also the European competitors as well. Finally, in 2020, we're gonna see Japan going for the throat of Ducati, Aprilia, and BMW. Coming in at $21,200, this makes for one expensive Honda. But honestly, when you compare it to the R1M, the V4S, and the Aprilia, it starts to look like an absolute bargain. With a liquid-cooled four-stroke inline four-cylinder displacing 999ccs, this bike bangs out 215 horsepower and 85 foot-pounds of torque. That's literally more power than a Honda Civic, a Honda Accord, and of course, the Honda Fit. It's actually a 2021 model year slated for release in the end of 2020, so get your checkbooks and get ready to drop a deposit because the SP is going to be for a pre-order sale only with very limited quantities coming to US dealerships. Not every dealership in the US will get one, so the bike will be a rarity. 650 EBE is probably going to be one of the first to get one and I sure do hope so. The Fireblade comes loaded with the best and best leader bike technology, a TFT display, electronics to support the rider, quick shifter up and down, wheelie control, ABS, traction control, and engine braking control. This is the bike that Honda fanboys, and honestly Japanese bike fanboys, have been waiting for. And no, not the Civic hatchback fanboys who think it's 1992, nor the guy that mows your yard with a Honda. The CBR 1000 RR SP is going to be a big deal, not only for racing and WSBK, but also for the streets and the track. 
And finally on our list is the MV Augusta Brutale 1000 Siri Oro. That was a long name. This bike is the fastest naked bike in the world and one of the most expensive. With a price tag of 42,999 euros or converted to US dollars at 47,377, this thing is not for the beginner or the daily commuter. The Brutale has a 998cc engine pushing out 212 horsepower and roughly 85 foot pounds of torque. It has a top speed of over 300 kilometers per hour or 186 miles per hour. Well, it is a naked bike, it's an MV Agusta, and it's a piece of art. This isn't the kind of bike you want to just putt-putt around town with because you might drop it, ruining it. It's a rarity and a masterpiece at the same time. I think this bike is better purposed for controlled conditions like a racetrack, or sadly, it's probably just going to sit in the garage of collectors. I'm not going to lie, this is one of the meanest looking bikes around, and its appearance lives up to the Brutale name. Now that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Do you guys want one of the no BS most expensive bikes made for next year, or is that one one that's already been done to death by other channels. I keep hearing of a bike made by Dodge with a V10 and an insane price tag, but it's nothing I'd ever see on the streets. Let me know in the comments what you think and what you guys want to see. Don't forget to click the link below and learn more about our giveaway motorcycles. If you like dual sports, naked bike, or small displacement sport bikes, we've got you covered. Hit the link, go to yamenoob.co so you can get registered to win. And you can also go to yamenoobmerch.com. Every dollar you spend gets an entry to win as well. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Fact. Fish are normally labeled wrong so that when it's purchased, people are paying higher prices for getting a fish that isn't what they think it is. Goodbye. <laughs>